Corey, Congress recently lifted a five-year ban on funding, funding horse meat inspections from the USDA, and that means slaughterhouses could be running in as little as a month. Before you reach for the phone to call Congress, as Phil Campbell reports, this could actually help the equestrian community in the long run. Dr. David Stanley has been working with horses for over 20 years, and he has recently seen a disturbing trend. Uh, in the last several years, we've seen a lot more cases of animal ne neglect. Uh, personally, I've seen animals starve to the point that they can't stand, and I believe that's all uh, part of this uh, law, or uh, the lack of being able to do something with those horses. In 2006, slaughter opponents pushed a measure cutting off funding for horse meat inspections through Congress. On November 18th, that ban was lifted as part of a spending bill to keep government afloat until mid-December. It did not, however, allocate any new money to pay for horse meat inspections, which opponents claim could cost taxpayers between $3 million and $5 million a year. The U.S. Department of Agriculture would have to find the money in its existing budget, which is expected to see more cuts this year as Congress and the White House aim to trim federal spending. The last U.S. slaughterhouse that butchered horses closed in 2007 in Illinois, and animal welfare activists warned of massive public outcry in any town where a slaughterhouse may open. Still, Dr. Stanley believes their anger is misguided. It's a humane process and you have to look at it in the balance of uh, starving and not being cared for. That's very inhumane and unfortunately death is part of all of our experience and, and this gives us a humane way to treat these animals and certainly it's beneficial for their overall welfare that we have that option. Early estimates say that a slaughterhouse could be ready in as little as 30 days, and at its peak, as many as 200,000 horses could be slaughtered for human consumption. Now, most of that meat obviously would be sent overseas to countries in Europe and Asia. Reporting in Blackfoot, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. Although there are reports of Americans dining on horse meat as recently as the 1940s, the practice is virtually non-existent in this country. America has more than 9 million horses since an average of 125,000 are slaughtered every year. That amounts to just over 1% of them, meaning 99% continue to survive more than any other country.